Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. I think it's God's servant, Bishop David Oedipo, who said the last digit in the, in the thanks, in the faith equation is thanksgiving. You know, like you press a number, 080-777-112. That two, that last digit is thanksgiving. 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 Thanksgiving is one of the pillars that sustain joy. When you give thanks, it can turn mourning to dancing it can turn sorrow to joy because thanksgiving mandates first that you reminisce on the faithfulness of god past it's impossible to give thanks without recalling the things he did yesterday in as much as you are trusting him to do something now thanksgiving lord i thank you for what you did yesterday i thank you for my children now they are looking for jobs but i thank you because while they were in secondary school there was a time i did not even know where their school fees would come from lord i give you praise that all these children today that my son is a professor today i remember when he was expelled in the secondary school you have turned my son today to be a preacher i want to give you thanks and it is on account of that i can thank you for what you are already doing in his life lord i thank you for my grandchildren and someone thinks you are just praising god you are actually praying it is a powerful prayer model hallelujah where you bless him from your heart where you cry thanksgiving from your heart you wake up in the morning this is a great day lord i thank you it is only those who are alive that can praise you i want to tell you thank you because you have given me breath i know there are still issues around my life but i take the time to say thank you i take the time to say thank you we're about to pray i hope you'll be able to select at least one of these models and use while we pray if you pray in the spirit alone you are doing malpractice you must practice the remaining four all of us can pray in the spirit that one is the holy spirit engaging <laughs> are we together for someone perhaps you may start with the prayer of thanksgiving i see people dropping their prayer request okay so let's do that if you are praying if you are dropping your request you can drop that so that we do this in the next five minutes or thereabout and we're done is it all right if i request that we okay let me just give you one minute to write your prayer request please um, ushers if you can allow people to write maybe help someone with a piece of paper it doesn't matter how now you can pray in the spirit while you are writing science has proven that you can pray in the spirit and write it doesn't disrupt your ability to write hallelujah let me recap the prayer models that I've taught you so far number one praying in the spirit praying in tongues number two declaring scriptures in the place of prayer number three engaging the prayer of inquiry asking for answers insisting that the answers come because with those answers directions come number four warfare prayers establishing realities as finished in christ even against principalities powers and antichrist hindrances to your life and destiny and finally, the prayer of thanksgiving. The prayer of thanksgiving. I want you to add something to that fifth point. Praying with thanksgiving. I want you to understand it when you are reading it later on. Praying with thanksgiving not just the prayer of thanksgiving so that if anybody's reading your notes who was not here they understand what you are saying the prayer of thanksgiving is not just reminiscing on the goodness of god yesterday is adding thanks to your request and so you speak them by faith as though they're already done thank you lord jesus are we ready to rise and pray 
if you are done writing your request and by the way i want you to believe please don't just write believe truly there is a god that answers prayers if you are done you can just wave it and someone will be available to pick it please let's do that in one minute hallelujah and for those who are connecting online i'm not sure if you have a chance you can post yours just online on the platforms available for you there else you can just hold your prayer request as a sign of faith and while we pray here you can connect by faith knowing that distance is no barrier and god will step in for you please make sure you write whatever it is that ails you whatever it is that has frustrated your enjoying the greatness the glory the power of god petition that situation and let's watch the god who answers prayer okay we can stand to pray when we're done if you're done please stand and let's pray first prayer point we are going to obtain grace from god to begin to engage every one of these prayer models it takes grace from god to engage these models faithfully while we're waiting for those who are still dropping their requests go ahead and begin to pray ask the lord for grace someone ask your maker the king of kings the king eternal ask him for grace the bible says for everyone that asketh receiveth please ask him for grace father i receive grace my prayer life is fanned back to flames now that i understand these models of prayer in the name of jesus christ mention them one by one i obtain grace to pray in the spirit and to do so consistently i receive grace in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god to be full of the word that I'm able to make declarations, prophetic declarations, scripture-based declarations in the place of prayer. Someone pray. Shapra kepara kosko brede kebera tosiata. I decree and declare grace to inquire in the place of prayer, to pray inquiry prayers. To pray inquiry prayers. No more bad, self limiting choices and decisions. Obtain grace to engage in warfare prayers. Warfare prayers, dethroning the cohorts of hell over your life, the affairs of your destiny. The prayer of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Let me just give us one prayer point that God is putting in my heart, especially because it's a women program. I, I want every mother to pray for your children and to pray for your home um, I was speaking in the UK and I became very alarmed at the rate at which the devil is attacking children mental health many of them are getting into all kinds of Eastern religions practices and some of them come from well-grounded spiritual families they are sent to school and after one year they can call their parents and say just to let you know i'm not a christian again and don't you dare try to question me on it who we'll summon you and the powers that be unfortunately have created a system that makes this very easy that children can disown their parents now happily and society can fund that misbehavior and allow things to run let's not take for granted you remember when moses met pharaoh and said let my people go pharaoh said okay here's what will happen we will allow you go but we'll keep the children and moses said no way everybody is going 
so whether or not you have biological children we're going to pray for all the the future of this church this ministry and every mother if you don't have you have siblings if you are a young person here you can pray over your siblings but please let's pray for one minute satan thus far have you come no further shall you go someone pray thus far have you come no further shall you go thus far have you come no further shall you go thus far have you come no further shall you go go ahead pray for the children pray for the youth here at the king's court mothers pray that everyone who came out from your womb will serve your god will live for god will serve the purposes of the kingdom it will not be that because you gave birth society became worst it will not be that because you had children you died early it will not be that because you had children you backslid spiritually because of frustration someone don't be silent pray as for me and my house we will serve the lord as for me and my siblings as for me and my spouse as for me and those that god has put within my care take a minute to pray take a minute to pray take a minute to pray shabaka parakatoska press rakata preka parakatoska parakos as for me and my house we will serve the lord as for me and my children we will serve the lord hallelujah in jesus name please hear me don't be offended at this statement but it is not the usual for parents to still remain greater than their children when they become adults no are we together no matter how great the parents are according to god's destiny program one day the children should rise and become like a giant oak tree but you see what satan is doing now you can find a child that is almost 50 he still say mommy can you please help me with 2000 it's a cause i tell you it's a cause it's a cause are we together that no parent should be the one still feeding their grandchildren they are alive for and still feeding their grandchildren hallelujah father gave birth to his children in that one room or that two bedroom flat the child grew up married he's still in that house and now they're about to have their grandchildren it is not the way god works don't feel condemned if that's your situation i'm just saying that's not how god works someone say father please shout he say father in the name of jesus let my children be greater than me go ahead and pray in my lifetime let me see that greatness not when i die in my lifetime let me see the greatness of my children in my lifetime let me see the glory of god in the life of my children and my grandchildren this is the heritage of the saints someone pray seriously in my lifetime in my lifetime let me see the glory of my child let me see the glory of my daughter let me see the glory of my grandchildren let them build in my lifetime let them marry in my lifetime let them have children in my lifetime let them serve god in my lifetime let the nation celebrate them in my lifetime not when i go to my grave please pray every cause every yoke that makes one generation to be less than the other i come against it in jesus name pray no 
or my children will be greater than me greater spiritually greater financially greater in terms of influence greater in terms of advancement please pray in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray it is an evil that has destroyed many parents and grandparents in old age where they are supposed to be resting all that frustrates them do you know what killed Eli it was the issue of his children Eli he already suspected that these boys those boys were supposed to take over from him one of the greatest pain in with the privilege that I've had counseling parents is the pain that they have in old age over issues of succession and the fact that there is nobody who can stand in defense to the family name because the the devil programmed that everybody who can uphold the name becomes a useless person it's an evil every time I read the story of Eli I'm disturbed how does a priest become so worried the ark of God then his sons Hophni and Phinehas you see that and his daughter-in-law had to get into labor i'm not sure it was time but she got into labor because of that stress and she named the child ichabod he said because the glory of god has departed from israel that it should not be that in this family there were once people who serve god but now it has become a place of idolatry it should not be that somebody will look at you and say the trouble that started in your village happened when you gave birth that it was because your child came that means it would have been better you did not even give birth ah look at what naomi said naomi said call me mara don't call me naomi it is sadness and sorrow that has surrounded me my husband is dead all my children dead everything that represents myself what has died call me mara don't call me naomi you know what mara means bitter that means my entire life is like i was a bitter pill for people to swallow one prayer point you are going to pray for yourself the bible says in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed let's invest in one minute praying for all our mothers and aunties nobody will be called mara that the story of your life will not be a bitter testimony someone pray in one minute from the depth of your heart Naomi was a good woman. Naomi was not an evil woman. But something plagued Naomi's life. All the supports in her life. She said, don't call me Naomi. Call me Mara. Every mother, every woman, every sister, every auntie, by the spirit of the living God. Your testimony will not be destroyed. You will not be called Mara. You will not be called Mara. You will not be called Mara. Called Mara. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus please hear me before I kneel to pray I stand agreeing with the grace upon the angel of this house please hear me if there is any family here and there is a cause you have seen that makes sure that parents never reap from their children I've seen that that even when the children rise just when they're about to be established something cut short the parents they die You believe me, oh, I know what I'm saying. No. The Bible says you will plant and you will reap. Do you believe that? You will plant. A stranger should not be the one now enjoying something. You will labor, you will sleepless night. I forbid it for every mother here. In the name of Jesus. Now that you are alive, you will remain alive. Hallelujah. 
there are spirits that search for families search for great destinies their assignment is to frustrate that family that parents in old age when they should be resting one report after another everybody you raise both biological and other children everybody disappoints you Appa, one person has to fear god enough are we together do you know why many parents just leave courses as they go to their grave it's not supposed to be so when parents are about to go it's a time to bless but is the pain they have gathered for 50 years 60 years they just leave a course i remember true story many many years ago i know about a woman her son kept bringing pain and embarrassment and one day in anger she cursed him she said until the day a rat stops stealing that is the day he will stop stealing do you think any mother who want to say that but this is what happens when pain happens i'm saying it again every programming to waste your remaining days that it will be spent in pain in regret i cry unto my god may he avert it on time may my god avert pain on time avert shame on time i say it again avert pain on time avert shame on time Avert pain on time. Avert pain on time. Hmm. Avert pain on time. In the name of Jesus. Your children will not bring you shame. People will not be calling you to use your life as a lesson. To warn other people. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I want to pray for every young person here whatever wants to slow down your rising to make sure until your parents die before you rise that you have you have promised mama you will build for her it's not because she needs the building that you are giving them a taste of their sacrifice i have the privilege and the honor of having my parents alive and i'm grateful to god that i can do the bit that i do for them when i see the joy and the smiles on their face on account of what God has helped us become it gives me joy even as a son are we together now yes he says satisfy me early is someone ready to pray that prayer don't be tired though we are wrapping up but this is you are beginning with destiny in a profitable way I pray for every young person here whatever has stopped you 10 years you have graduated but not the first job you are in Lagos, a place of plenty. I call upon my God in the name of Jesus Christ that in this year 2024, may my God sort your life. Believe it, may my God sort your life. Listen, the Bible says the increase in the field is for all, not for some the increase in the field is for all that even the king is fed by that which comes from the field every opportunity in nigeria or the globe is not for a special group of people no sir no sir is for everyone you must be angry and force your portion out of destiny are we together i say it again in the name of jesus every young man here and parents you can agree for your children whatever is making them slow in destiny crawling through destiny we pro we pronounce speed speed of establishment speed of accomplishment in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus we're going to pray over this now. I believe everybody has their request. Why do we pray on this? Because number one, God tells us to make our request known. No assumptions. And I like to pray on requests like this. You know why? Because this is the most accurate expectation or ex expression of your expectation. Nobody is going to read it. This is between you and the God of heaven. But I like you to pray. Tell him, Lord, for the sake of your glory, let there be answers to this prayer. Go ahead and pray. For the sake of your glory, let there be. Okay. 
please go ahead and pray. Just take one minute. I'm laying my hands on this request, praying on them. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy. One more time. Worthy is your name. Jesus. You deserve. Hallelujah. 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 I'm not a prophet of doom, but I'm going to say this. I just saw something that I, I trust I know God wants to avert it I'm looking at a truck that carries goods like maybe biscuits or something I'm seeing it collide with a Corolla car and everybody in that car dying I pray in the name of Jesus Christ nobody here nobody here it will not be said anybody here died please don't be afraid i'm not a prophet of doom but when god reveals like this whether it's for you or for your loved ones i say it again from now till the end of the year you will not bury anybody not by accident not by sickness in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah it will not be that your child will go out in the morning and you will not find the person again in the name of Jesus listen let me tell you people related to me I remember one of my dear sons in ministry they were coming back from a program and they just called me I think it was from where was that they just ambushed all of them and kidnapped the first vehicle could run away but they kidnapped the other ones and i they just said within 24 or 48 hours the first thing was about at 50 million or so they said if it's not brought they would shoot everybody one by one and these people are heartless people let me tell you the truth they would do it eventually like that people had to beg I will not tell you how much I had to pay eventually as ransom evil is bad though evil is bad is the reason why believers must receive prophetic words your whole savings can go in one day because of the evil heartedness of someone I say it again you will not sow for another man to reap you will not sow for another man to reap you will not sow for another man to reap in the name of Jesus your going out is blessed if you leave your house you must return back 
I say to a believer, if you leave your house, you must return back. And for every request that is here represented in the name of Jesus, no matter what that situation is, we call upon the God of heaven to turn this request to answers. Speedy answers. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I use this opportunity to pray for the foundations of Sapphire. Eight. This is eight years, am I right? Eight is the number of new beginnings. Everything that represents the old old pains old wounds old shame we declare let it go with yesterday Amen. welcome to your new season Amen. season of grace Amen. season of speed Amen. season of breakthrough Amen. greater capacity in the spirit greater unity among the women in the name of jesus Shout Amen seven times. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, they didn't request that I do this, but I want to challenge someone. And my apologies if I break any protocol. But I want to challenge someone as God has placed in your life. I want us to honor these mothers by sowing into the foundation of Sapphire. I'm not going to ask you to give anything. It is between you and God. But you see, it's a responsible Christian practice. It's not about money. Many of these mothers and even the ministry is blessed. But this is why many believers don't grow. Once you receive from a stream, you sow into that stream. Are we together now? So let me challenge them. Don't say my mother is part of the foundation. That's not the issue. As I'm saying this, I know by myself, I will also honor the instruction because it's coming from God. Don't come and receive. You have learned about prayer. You have learned about so many things. Don't watch the foundations of Sapphire and just come and say, wow, God bless the mothers and leave responsible christianity mentors people to know how to respond i'm saying it again it's not about money but it's about a sense of responsibility so the details are there as god places in your heart make sure your seed no matter how great no matter how small let something leave you to connect with the grace that has made this happen this is what the bible teaches do you believe that are we in agreement on it and don't say I don't have much. That is the reason why many people don't grow. No. Your one naira, your one dollar, your ten dollar, your one thousand, whatever it is that God places in your heart, this is for our mothers. This is as a seed to honor God and to thank his grace over the foundations of Sapphire. Thank you for making this happen. Thank you for helping me understand God used the platform of this to help me understand prayer. To help me understand the greatness of God. My spiritual life has been enhanced. I have experienced his hand. How do you just fold your arm and share the grace and walk away? It doesn't work like that. When he came to Cornelius, he said, your prayers and your arms. This is how it works. Thank you so much, dear mothers and aunties. Thank you for this honor you have given me. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.